Oh man. How did it get this messy? I don't even want to go in there. It's cleaning day. <laughs> at uh, shooting these vlogs and stuff. I uh, have been pretty busy since the last time I did one of these. And Please welcome the second annual uh, Orlando Jazz Workshop Clinicians and Artists. Here we go. It's day four. Have had no time to video at all. You made it to LA. Facebook profile. Sometimes it's hard to sit down and talk to a camera when you got a lot of things going on. Uh, so I'm home for Thanksgiving um, and I'm cleaning this monstrosity of boxes and, and all this stuff and thought I'd pull the camera out. I did shoot a little bit of like a saxophone thing uh, earlier, like uh, a couple, like a week or so ago. Um, about like what I've been practicing and stuff and I'll kind of talk in and out about that, but I got to clean Got to clean all this first <laughs> I also got these new like airpod pros yesterday for the beginning of black friday and they're really good and they're good for like transcribing and stuff because you can still hear yourself and the sound quality is pretty good and like when you take it out like it stops the music so you can like kind of figure stuff out and stuff so these are really good and they sound like really good quality headphones like over ear but they're just buds so good purchase something else that <coughs> i've been thinking about and this is i just picked this up because i was cleaning because i did this gig with joey fatone uh at epcot like with joey fatone and friends like this group i got to play some jazz with him and some like pop tunes and stuff there's a couple videos on youtube um i'll post i'll put some up right now Something that I didn't know was going to be so important was preparing your music like numbered in tape ahead of time because I didn't know if he was going to have a book before like when he gets to rehearsal. So I, like, I printed out all the charts, numbered them like they were in the email and taped them because then at least I know my butt is covered. I don't have to worry about like if he didn't print out the books like oh is anybody having music and you know I have my iPad but like switching through that going really fast it's not numbered on my iPad so I didn't you know. Super important. I had this under my under the seat of my car the whole gig. My dad used to teach me that trick, um, just in case if something happened with my music or the book, something happens, got an extra copy. So something I've learned that you know I wish I knew earlier. Here's a little bit of more stack shot talk. <clears throat> I, most of you know I've had this BAM case for a long time, and 
it's starting to, you know, separate in some areas and stuff. Uh, you know, I love this case. It's really lightweight. It's great for portability and everything, but it's starting to kind of wear and tear. Like these peaks in the front are like separate and stuff. So I just bought the Boston Sack Shop case, the new Ambassador case. It's coming next month, and I'm super excited. Uh, but if I can get this glued together and stuff, then bam for a new one or like a replacement, like I'm selling it. So I'll uh, keep you guys updated on that. For, excuse me, saxophone. <coughs> one of the saxophone thing I want to talk about really quick while I'm tuning is right. So I have this Yamaha Cold Plated V1 that I experimented with a little bit last year. <laughs> My little bottleneck, obviously, I slipped on it. Uh, but I also had a time where I was experimenting with the Boston Sack Shop neck, so plated. <laughs> period I didn't have the money at the time didn't get it so I just bought it and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail and I'm super excited because it really centers the sound of the Lupa Faro I think um, <coughs> excuse me really kind of brings all the all of it together uh, of the things that I guess it's like not missing but just things that I would miss from like a more of a vintage horn I guess um, this thing is a turns it into a louder horn a little bit more spread Super far next a little bit more centered, but the Boston Sack Shop kind of brings in all of those things. And I'm excited to test it with my Sire Flop because I still haven't tested it with my Sire Flop just yet. So. <laughs> taking little snippets of solos that I've played and trying to string them together um, you know right now it's a really rough patch excuse me but a lot of the times when I'm practicing this is what I'm doing I'm trying to take some of these ideas from these other solos and uh, kind of embellish them in my own playing uh, playing with a play along like I will be over myself uh, either one you know for me 